Hi, welcome to Auntie Net Squishy. Today, we're gonna make strawberries. This is a kind of small strawberry because I need a pair of strawberries to hang it on my crochet bag. I'm gonna make a crochet bag with t-shirt yarn after this. So here, this is actually for me to hang it onto the crochet bag. I want it to stay hanging like this. Or if you do not want, you can just leave it like this without this without this uh, hanging thing. <laughs> so we need three colors. You can either use like mine. This is kind of like dark pink. Or you can use red. And some green, any, any green. And this is, uh, you can use white or yellowish white or yellowish. So this is a five ply yarn. So I took out and I just need one strand. So you, you do not need five ply here. You just need a one strand thing. Or you can use any thread, any white thread. Just randomly make some seeds here and there to make it look more like a strawberry instead of a normal other berries. So this one, I'm going to use a 3mm hook and you will need a little bit of stuffing. So if you want to make it into a cute amigurumi with eyes and nose, you can actually add some eyes, nose, and you can sew them up. But mine, I want it to be just strawberry. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start by making a magic ring. So in the magic ring, we're going to make six single crochet. Two, four, six. Okay, six single crochet. I'm going to pull this let me add a marker I always need a marker when I'm doing amigurumi in case anything goes wrong then you know where's the starting point so next row I'm going to do two single crochet in each stitch which you can also call it an increase so here in the same stitch do two single crochet so one two in the same stitch so here same thing one two so we started with six single crochet and now we're going to do increase in every single stitch so we're going to get 12 stitches in this row 2. So now we're going to go to row three. Row three, you're gonna do a single crochet first. Means one single crochet in the next stitch, followed by an increase. Increase means two single crochet in the same stitch. One, two. So you do one single crochet. One increase. One single crochet. One increase. You should have eighteen stitches in this row. Oops. 
So next we're going to do increase again. This time we're going to do two single crochet followed by an increase. So one, two, increase. Don't forget to add the marker. So one, two, increase. One, two, increase the free written pattern will be in my blog and I'll share in this in the description box below one two increase should have 24 stitches in this row so the next row row 5 we're gonna do single crochet all around just single crochet one single crochet in each stitch oops okay okay one single crochet in each stitch which means we're gonna have 24 stitches as well come back to you once I'm at the end of the row. Now I'm going to do the uh, green part. I'm going to start with the magic ring. So after the magic ring, do six single crochet into the ring. One, two, three, Four, five, and six. Six single crochet, and you pull tight. Now, into the first one, we're gonna do a slip stitch. After your slip stitch. You chain four and then you're gonna this is a <coughs> the second stitch from the hook you're gonna slip stitch this is the first this is the second the first the second second stitch we're gonna do slip stitch the following stitch we're gonna do half double crochet there's one more here we're gonna do a single crochet so all in you should have six of these so now I need to do five more so we did here we we'll go to the next one slip stitch chain 4 second stitch from the hook we slip stitch oops half double crochet yarn over half a double crochet and the next one next stitch and the last stitch here we're gonna do single crochet then you're gonna slip stitch into the next so you continue so by the time you come back here you should have 
six of these because we have six stitches here so each stitch you do one so you're gonna have six one two three four five six i have six of it this is the last part actually this is where we started and we slip stitch here so this does not count as one so here we're gonna just slip stitch and i'm going to chain one and pull tight this one i'm gonna leave a longer tail because i plan to do this i need this part here so i'm gonna leave a slightly longer tail so that i have two of it i'll hang it on the back i'm gonna sew it on the back and leave it hanging on the back so make sure I mean, it's optional whether you want it to be a long tail, uh, whether you have that part. So I want that part, so I make sure the tail is long enough. Long enough for me to sew this onto the strawberry. And sew it here, stitch by stitch, onto the strawberry here. And at the same time, you come back here on top here and we're gonna do this this is just uh, you just chain make a few chain here depending on how long your yarn is how many balance what's the balance of your yarn and then after that I just slip stitch downwards so it kind of look like this okay once I once you make sure all these are fastened nicely I will put one stitch here somewhere in the middle not necessarily in the middle it could be at the side and I'm going to do I'm going to do a knot here a knot here as low as possible oops sorry let me get this right you put your hook here go to as low as possible and twist and chain start to do your chain Depending on how long you want it, whether you're going to be a keychain or you're going to hang it on the back like me, you can even make this into a huge earring. <laughs> this would be nice, strawberry earring. So if possible, I want this to be slightly longer than this, then at least I have one longer strawberry and one shorter strawberry. And that also depending on the yarn, the balance yarn that you have. Okay, I guess this is long enough. Maybe two more. Okay, then from here, and second stitch from the hook, and start to do the slip stitch all the way down. So once you reach the end here, because there will be one part that you will kind of see the 
not like it went up a bit so if you can slip stitch on that knot too oh that's too okay i guess i'll stop here and use a needle you pull it all over use a tapestry needle sew it on to the knot here the part where we make the knot oops and put through to the bottom so you kind of pull it down and you will not see that part anymore it looks like it really comes up comes up from here so from here do a few more stitches if you want just kind of secure it do a few more stitches is not secure enough you can actually make a few round okay now you can pull it to the far end into the strawberry and you can actually hide your yarn inside or you can cut it if you want I prefer to hide it inside so now I will have one longer strawberry and one shorter one so it's gonna look like this Anyway, if I need it to be longer, I can add later on when I sew, sew it onto the back. And now, this part here, you can get thread or you can pull out the yarn. I have one here, which is just one strand. Oops, it got tangled. Oh, here I think, yeah. I have one here. You can just use any needle. But at the moment, I only have a tapestry needle. <laughs> so actually, you can use any thread if you want. And make sure I leave the tail outside. Because the last stitch, I'm going to come back here and tie it up. So here, make sure it's facing upwards, it's kind of vertical. You can just randomly make one here and one the other side. Just something like this. And you can just poke it anyway. So long you can see this randomly here and there. Not too much. Just a few will do.
so even if you pull too tight it will look even more like the actual seat so I'll come back to you once I'm almost at the end and I'll show you how I'm gonna tie it here okay now that's the last one so I'm going to go back here gonna tie a knot and hide it inside Too long. Mm -hmm. Cut it. And this is it. So this is how the strawberry look like. Hope you like this pattern. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.